Uh, we'll do a Mongols game. <clears throat> Our Viper Arch is always going to be playing now with the wrist and finger thing. It makes it way more comfortable for me to play. So for me, it's like I'd rather have a 3% performance reduction than play with with uh, uncom like, uncomfortable and have play be uncomfortable. Let's do a TC there, shall we? Bit of a messy start. So we have a nice TC there. Look at them. Beasto was also great. I, I, Beasto was the one I was not most sure about how he would be in person. But he's also like super nice guy. Um, yeah, no, like I bonded or connected nicely with pretty much all of them. The, uh, Vortex and uh, Lucifer as well, super nice guys. They kept a little bit more to themselves and were a little bit more like... They spent most of the time training. Uh, they weren't on the couch, for example, where we, uh, where all the, where you could watch the games essentially together. They weren't really there, but whenever you talk to them, it was also super nice people. And uh, yeah, I think I was not sure how the environment would be like, right? Because it was still completely new for me as well, all the people there. But I was very happy with the result. And how good the atmosphere was, how great everyone were as human beings, you can say. Um, it, it was uh, just fantastic. Scrubby has friendly in the real world, it seems, on stream? Absolutely. No, he's, an, he's a dick, dude. He's like, just talking shit about everyone. And like, you know. Oh, Grubby, Grubby is a stand-up guy. Did I kill that wolf or did it stop chasing me? I'm not, I'm not sure. <gasps> not my deer, man. Did he kill all my deer? No. He hits me one more time. Oh, what did he shoot? Hit me. Baby, one more time. Wait. I'm kind of dying, aren't I? Bring the con. My scout is dangerously low. It's a bit awkward. Oh, I have to be careful here. I also just learned that the scout, the Mongol scout, can actually um, use the flare thing as well. Not just the con, the scout as well. And that was a what a shocker to me. I did not know that. Maybe some of you learned that as well now. Beep, 
Bad start. Bad, bad start. I'm scared of his scouts just coming by here and stealing my sheep. That would not be nice. Tell these noobs how good the food was. I did not. But the food was good. There, I told them. I think this one could have been stolen. I'm not mistaken. Pastures not count as friendly for owning sheep. I think if there's a distance is far enough, like in this case, then he can grab them. Ooh. Actually making archers even. Being aggressive. This is doing professional scouts, right? Spearmen as well, holy shit. Archer, spear, and professional scouts. I don't think we need that. Hopefully. <laughs> I might be wrong in my wishes of what I need or not. Who's the wolf there? Call overlay guy for what? The overlay is wrong? What's wrong with the overlay? What's wrong with your overlay, man?
What's some dealer? Oh, I was showing the wrong name. <laughs> Professional scouts. Barracks. What? Double range. Interesting. Mm. Oh. Wall that off. What? It doesn't give vision past? What? I was sure it would give me vision past that. stone on towers I think that's the way oh that's spearman Ugh. hey they both survived actually sick Just switch this into a very passive play. Get him! 
Where is it? You heard mega random comments. Hey, wait, yep, correct. You heard correct. Feels like a weird game. In many ways. Looks like he actually snagged the relic from the top side. It's walling. Should have been way more active with my con, to be fair. Give me that bounty. Or maybe not. I'm trying to go for another town center. It might be greedy. But I'm committed. That's a bad fight. Wasteful here for him. Not that I'm complaining. That's where the idols were. Oh. oh, this game has been very strange. Not sure what to feel about it. Gonna build a new obu. I'm not sure what the opponent is going for. He's just massing units. He has the relic advantage, right? So for him, he's not really in a rush either to make things happen. 
But this actually put me in a bit of a situation where I'm not really sure if what I'm doing is correct either. 30C may have been too greedy. Don't really know. I want this thingy. Oh yeah, he got you baited off. Nice. Suddenly we just feel like trading a lot better than him. I'm not sure if I like the way he's like expanding with the walls. It's like in one way I understand where it's coming from, but at the same time I feel like I'm just free to do whatever I want. And I'm not really... I don't feel like I'm being threatened. Get what I mean. And my eco is looking very good. Oh boy. Oh. About that whole thing, uh, you know, not being threatened uh, part. It's just a prank. It's still good for me though, right? I bring these guys home. I will hold this. I still have three TCs. So you got a solid eco behind this. This is still okay. Yeah, Callum placements is Imperial Age though, right? Overcommitted. Uh, I do agree with that. And I still don't think what he's doing with the walling on the sides is necessarily the best. I understand what he wants to accomplish. But I don't think this. Um, I don't think it does that much. Now I'm like, overcommitting though. A bit of a sloppy game on my end. Uh, I did not mean to build that. In case anyone thinks I was trying to build that, that was not part of my plan. Oh, 
Still over 100 bills. No. The siege tower. The new Khan rises. Hello, YouTube. I think this game will go to YouTube's? Really think so? Maybe. I think I will just go in. What? Where are my food villagers here? Siege Tower did it. That was it. We just go in, we get the stu white stu file, we get so much more gold production, uh, stone production. And yeah. So I'm in a stage right now where I feel like I cannot really push him. You know, like push to kill kind of thing. So many resources as well. I'm gonna get my pastures on there. Oh, that is faster. Oh no, I'm trapped. I assume the Magnus will be coming as well. The rain dance is so funny. You're talking about with the siege tower, yeah? Oh. Well. He wants to kill me. Not sure why I feel that way, but I do. I 
should cut off a lot of reinforcements though. I did lose everything, to be fair. I'm actually losing all those in those fights. I lost his army as well. Oh, I don't like the mass mangonel meta. How strong it feels. Every time. Make a cannon? I probably did, but it's de dead now. Lost all my pastures. Oopsie. Like, my issue with Mangonels is pretty much that it feels like a unit you don't have to micro. So, when you make it, it's like. It just feels like it gets way too much value for. Once you get, like, good numbers of them. Probably just go archers even. Wait, I only have one archery range? <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. I guess my numbers increasing, or not increasing, isn't that much of a surprise. Oh. 
Fuck. They left all my TCs. Oopsie. Detect your attack from the sides, multiple angles. It always depends on what units are there. Um, it's not always gonna be effective. But I lifted all my thesis. Oh god. Uh, it like it doesn't even matter if you are attacked from multiple angles if he has enough because it's usually quite difficult for you to make enough an, of an effective spread spread to the point where he cannot actually still get crazy value. I think we have this game though. I, I can't see how we lose this. Did I just ping for him? Oops. I don't think we can lose from here. But never say never. Thanks, Christopher. Enjoy your night. Or sleep well. This one still have stone? No, it does not. It was a nice game, but I think it played well. Well, it was a weird game, though. He went like Spearman Archer with Spearman Archer, and then he had Professional Scouts. And just sitting inside his base for the most part. I do you think Magnus should have friendly fire? I don't think they should have friendly fire. That gives you even less control. What I think... I think one of the biggest issues with AW4 in general is the lack of competitive control you have. I'll try to explain that. Um, for example, which angle do military spawn from? They always have one fixed angle where they will always spawn from. Doesn't matter which where you put the gathering flag, they will always spawn one direction. For example, the council hall. It will always spawn southeast, no matter where you have your your gather point. So the archer will pop, the longbowman will pop on the bottom right, and then move to the north if you have a gather flag on the north. Same with, uh, for example, if you want to release your units from your town center. Put the flag and you put, click F to ungarrison. They will always ungarrison on the top right. There's a trick where you can avoid that, but it's not great. Uh, user interface. You cannot select individual units in the user interface. Uh, there's just a bunch of these small features that make the game feel like you have less control, meaning it feels like you. It feels way less competitive. Mangonels, I feel, fall into that category where it's just like they have ballistics, right? For those who are familiar with AW2, it means that you're shooting moving targets. So if I'm moving from left to right, your mangonel knows that I'm moving from left to left to right, and it's taking that into account, meaning it will hit me as long as I stay on a straight tra 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 trajectory. Meaning that they have so much guaranteed damage. Now, you could obviously debate it by switching your trajectory as he shoots, but it's the projectiles of his own go really fast. So it's unlikely that you're ever going to avoid, as long as there are many mangles, uh, avoid any damage. And the thing is, it just snowballs so heavily when there's like five, six, seven mangles. They just start doing so much value. And if you try to jump on his mangonels, it's very likely that you will not get on top before you have lost most of your HP on your units. Which in return can be, those units can be finished off by whatever units he has. And the only issue with, man like the only counter, proper counter to mangonels is springles. And while springles do three shot mangonels, it's still difficult because you don't have necessarily have your own mangonel buffer it just becomes a game of siege right okay he has mangonels you equals you need springles equals this guy needs springles again to counter your springles and then you probably need mangonels yourself as well to deny whatever army he has from jumping on your springles it, it just becomes a very siege oriented game 
in many ways. And I do dislike that part about the game.